I got Dave my Mac 6. We are back at the Mecca, and today is a very good day for me, man. I got a powerful duo right here. <laughs> the reigning classic physique champ, two times yeah. Olympia, uh, with the real deal. Yeah. Glad to have you on the JTV, you guys. Thank, Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you, Dave. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Absolutely. Thank so, you. Jay actually w really wanted to make sure I, I did this. He says, make sure you talk to Brian and make sure that we grab Chris before he goes out of time. All right. Out of time again. I want to have them two on the channel. We're 12 weeks out from the Olympia. Brion's going for his third Olympia win, uh, which will create a dynasty. We talk out of all. Oh, you know, this wow. is this is like a big one, a hat trick, man. Goosebumps thinking about <laughs> it. Yeah, man. There's yeah, a lot got, riding on that one. Yes. Huh? We all feeling it. We've been working hard. I mean, he's been working hard. He's been working hard too, for us, man. Right? I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. designing. I'm just <laughs> around. I got my pencil behind my, my ear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Design this shit. Like, we need to work here more. We need to work there. And more. I want to talk. It's exactly why we want to have you in, the, in, in this video, with Chris, because it's a great, a great story between your friendship and, yeah. and this relationship with you guys, and this rise uh, to Brian to the top. Yeah. But but I want to go back a little bit before because there's a lot of things that we don't know about Brian. A lot of people don't know about him. <laughs> He's actually an accomplished actor who's done a lot of movies in the past before he became champion in our little world. Bit. So bit. talk about that a little bit. How how long ago are we talking about? Then? Well, I mean, I was I, I um, went to school. I was uh, went to college for acting. I, was, I graduated with a liberal arts performing arts degree, and uh, it just started from there. You know, I, I wasn't <laughs> the business uh, admi uh, management wasn't you know it, it wasn't really floating my boat. I just changed majors. Uh, so it started in college, uh, like I said. And then I, when uh, f professional football did not work out, injuries are a reality. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm from here. I live here in the, the La La Land, from Hollywood. So I said, <laughs> let me go ahead and utilize my degree nice. and get into the acting business. So I started in uh, really getting going into the acting business in 2002. And I had a good run. But did you like it? How was run. that? Yeah, it was great. I mean, I huh? was doing all of, of what people might think. Uh, Auditioning every single yeah. day, um, really, uh, you know. Uh, um, what did you do for a living, part. though? I mean, how do you make money? I, was that was that paying you enough that you could actually do it full time? Well, I actually had was living off of what I uh, made in arena football oh. the year before. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I, pay, I was paid a little bit, uh, forty grand for uh, in arena football uh, the year before, which was a blessing, you know. And I was living off that for like two years wow <laughs> you know your cheap date uh, yeah yeah for like two years until i got myself going kind of in the acting business nice. started getting more roles more roles wow uh yeah so i've been in fast and furious the fourth one a little, little bit part in there great commercial i had in 2018 that people might have uh have seen mountain dew nice. uh went to china for it it was exciting yeah and i was a uh, little bit parts here you know in independent films and some some uh, tv roles Nice. Um, yeah, but then my then uh, you know it got a little slower. My body started changing as I started putting on a little bit more muscle, yeah. and then you know that's very important in that business to where yeah, yeah, yeah. things have to match up, face and body, yeah. and and the camera adds you know five to eight more pounds, yeah. <laughs> which is good in bodybuilding, but not in movies. Not yeah. in movies. Not yeah. in movies because yeah. like Brian, your face looks young. But your body looks like, you know, a 35, 40 year old man. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was like, okay, well, and so that kind of, you know, put me in a niche. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So now um, I'm still dibbing and dabbing in, in, uh, in the business. And uh, oh, yeah? Yeah, still dibbing okay. and dabbing. Actually, I have a, um, a movie that just came out, an independent film that just came out, what, uh, four weeks ago. 
What's it called? It was. It's called Trade. Okay. Look yeah. that up, guys. It's called okay. Trade. <laughs> it's an interesting role. You guys just go check it out. Look it up and check it out. I'm not going to give you any. Uh, not going to spoil it for you. <laughs> well, I'm so glad we talked about this. All right. So let's talk about your bodybuilding journey. You started in bodybuilding as a 212. Yep. So talk about that before you decide to go into the uh, classic. Yeah. Well, I um, started at 212. Uh, let's see. 2013 was when I got my pro card uh, in USA's in Vegas gotcha. and then my goal was to get on I said I'm gonna have a five-year goal to get on the Olympia stage top three in the 212 division um, but you know uh, what I experienced and a lot of other pros that I've talked to uh, you know making the transition experience the pro level is a whole different ball game whole different ball game so I did a 212 show um, my first one was the New York Pro in 2014. I got last placed. <laughs> Talk about that year though, because it was a very yeah. testing year for very you. Very testing year. Well, my, my house caught on fire, uh, you know, in the end of 2013, um, which was with traumatic, but I was de very determined still to get on stage that following May of 2014 uh, at New York. Um, and everybody was like, oh, you're going to choose New York? I was like, yeah, you know, I wanted it. I was hungry. Uh, but it didn't go well, so that was an experience, an eye opener for sure. And then I did a little bit better that the, the that same year at the end at the Phoenix Pro uh, in um, at the 212 division. Uh, again, I got ninth place. Um, so then, you know, I was just going to go to the drawing board. The whole year of 2015, I took off, and um, I, you know, I was going to go with that five-year plan of making top three at the O. And then at the end of 2015, they announced Classic. And so those plans changed, you know. And I said, oh, wow, well, let me, um, it, at the time, the weight, my weight uh, limit was the same weight, 100, well, actually a pound less than where I turned pro at. I was at 176 as a middleweight. And as a as professional in Classic, you got to be 190, 175 wow. for my height. Wow. <laughs> so I was like, wow, I have to lose another pound as a pro. Uh, and get down to that to get down to that shape and sure enough getting down to that shape was uh, a great shape for me um, at the time and, and it allowed me to win my first classic show in Boca Raton Florida the Crystal Cup beating who beating uh, Darum Charles there you go yeah not no small people, feet right there yeah people know uh, he's, a, he's a legend yeah. in his own name yeah Chris well, you competed against, against him yeah, many times many so. times many times yeah Wow! Yeah. Oh damn! <laughs> is that is that when you knew that you you had something? Is that you knew? Oh, maybe I'm maybe I'm good at this. Maybe I actually uh, can do something in that division. Absolutely. That's yeah. when I knew that I could be special, um, and that I could kind of do, you know really you know extend myself and do something great in this game, and in this sport. Um, I knew at the time classic division was kind of really growing and going to be uh, growing rapidly, you know, internationally. So um, I took it upon myself to just be ready to be the, the guy and be ready to, for my time to come and to be ready to represent uh, on all fronts very well. And on that note here, enter the real deal. Yes. So talk to me about this, this connection you two have and because and we, we obviously uh, you know, saw him rising with you all the way up to the title. So when did you guys first meet and, and how did you guys start working together, Chris? Did you well, I was uh, got contacted uh, through the internet, uh, uh, Instagram or whatever. It's like, okay, I want to meet this guy at such such time, and you know, go if you want to pose. That was so, Brian. Yeah. Was Brian. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I didn't really. I I knew. I didn't put two and two together, but he uh, he actually uh, went against Lenny at the LA Championships. Oh, that's right. Oh, Danny. Yeah. Yeah, Lenny. New yes. Lenny New Oh, yes. Yeah, that's so right. That's right. I told Lenny not to do the show, but he did it anyway. Lenny did. <laughs> but he was, you know, but then he was, uh, but then uh, Breon ended up beating him, and then he ended up winning going to the USA the next weekend and turned pro. Yeah. I didn't realize that. So, but when I seen him, I was like, man, this guy, this kid can do something. When I saw him just posing, we was just going to, like I said, we was going to just meet for posing for periodically mm -hmm. while he gets ready for the show. And I yeah. was just like, Man, this guy, you know, he's he's a little raw, but he he's moving well. He just needs to put together the pill pieces at the end of the at the end of the puzzle to make it all connect. So I said, hey, let's uh, let's go downstairs and I'm gonna show you a couple exercises that can probably help you on your way to going for this title. 
so when we went down there, uh, down to the gym and started doing fitness science, I see more and more things moving and happening in his body. And I knew he just needed to fill in all the different little areas that's not very developed on his body, but I knew he had a shot to do something really great in the sport. So did you guys meet before your first Olympia or after? Yeah, before. before, yeah. Before, yeah, okay. All, before. The, all the classic competitions, we, we kind of like to have. Okay, so since the right, right movie. Since, yeah. And what did you get the first Olympia? Third? Fourth place. Fourth, okay, okay. Yeah, fourth right. place. <laughs> yeah. Fourth place. A, a controversial, <laughs> maybe. Fourth place. No, but um, that was very motivating for me to just, because uh, I, I had, I really knew also after that fourth place that I could be the champion the next year. I have a good shot. And that I know, you know I knew through my work ethic, and with the, with the tutelage of, of Chris and with his mentorship mm. and with his track record of really designing the body and uh, really working, knowing um, the, the quality that I needed, you know, uh, I knew that we could we could really do something special as a tandem. So I said, man, I need to work with you all the time. Chris, yes. please, you know, please let me just uh, borrow your time periodically. The and experience. Um, yeah. and absolutely. And, you know, we've, we've grown and we've blossomed. He's been a great mentor, friend, mentor, everything, coach uh, in this whole process. And I was glad to uh, actually bring him a an Arnold Championship oh, yeah. last year because I thought he was going to buy Carolina through me. You finally got the Arnold. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time for that. Man. Like, the crowd oh, is over. You know? oh. The it, crowd is over. It's 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 great. We, we obviously got some some training for today. And when you train, when you pose, I see a lot of the Cormier in you. Uh, uh -huh. You know, because uh, and and you train very strict. You train with a lot of discipline. You train heavy, but you never cheat. And that's something that he's, I know he's a huge proponent on, uh, it's fine, you can't train heavy, but he's swinging the weights and bouncing the right. weight and cheating the weight, he's not yeah. for that. And every time we watch you train, everything is controlled. And, and yeah. it's great that, that a champion trains like that, because so many people think today, all you do is lift heavy weights, yes, and, and it's not, weights. yeah. Absolutely. Every, everything is, everything uh, is for a reason. Everything's designed uh, in a way to where we got to where we are now. It wasn't always that way, but it, it got that way, uh, you know, through the time we're going through the different shows. But we did well. I mean, he's a, he's a good listener and he trains hard. I, like I said, I, I told you before, I, I tested him once and I said, you want to do some more, uh, some more poses? You want to do some more? <laughs> you want to do some more training? You still want? Yeah, he's all in on everything every time. And, he and never I, says no. Yeah, I never says no. And <laughs> not to this day, he never complained. <laughs> Nothing but smiling all the time. And, uh, you know, just want to work hard and want to go after what he's trying to get, and that's that's another title. So we're here chasing another title, and that's what I like to do. That's when I get my energy. My energy is up. It's Olympia time. It's Olympia training. Uh, I think he's in excellent condition already. Oh yeah. And it's gonna get better and better. And I think that's per square inch on his body is totally, totally what wins him these titles. Every inch of his body is full of. It's quality. his balance, right? We're so talking about quality, that off camera. Everything yeah. is like proportioned and balanced symmetry and, all that yeah. stuff yeah it's making it better Brian you actually went uh, into literally training camp or boot camp whatever you want to call it in Kuwait last year with Chris for five weeks oh yes transformed quite rapidly I mean you were in great shape when yeah. you went but just yeah. like major change and stuff are you planning on doing the same thing this year as far as uh, if not Kuwait anywhere else Cormier training camp and of just course. like yeah yes, is that the course, plan yeah. Chris of yeah. course that's the, that's the plan we need to be together those last those last you know five six weeks or so and just totally concentrated on uh, bringing out the best of his body you know and the, and the posing like he's, getting, he's like ahead of the game now because he's been you know seasoned at it in the posing some things just got to just revamp it and everything but his body is totally like on course to be even way better than last year so. yeah I, I haven't even reached my full potential yet and I'm so excited to do, you know, to work with him uh, so intensely. What we do is it's oh, so yeah. detailed it's and so one intense. Other, one of the level of... Uh, yeah, that I'm going to really uh, see the full potential yeah. or something very close to it uh, this year. I'm very excited about it. Last year was the first time you actually did that, this training camp we talked about. Yeah. Uh, completely immersed for five weeks. Talk to me a little bit about it and, and how did that, how do you feel that helped you last year? Well, just like I said, the, the intensity, the, the focus, what we do um, around the clock, um, everything is just so timed and everything is just so convenient 
Um, no body. traveling. Yeah, yeah, no traveling, no yeah. doing this, running errands throughout the day. You know, we can train and have enough energy to do it twice a day if we would, if we want. Uh, and that makes a difference. You know, you could just really focus on give and having energy and giving it max effort with the posing, with the training, with in the cardio, in the this, in the that. You know, you don't have any arbitrary uh, distractions and arbitrary yes. um, things that are taking your energy. Yes. You know, I have just with me living here at home. I have that sometimes. Just with I oh, I got to go to the store, or I, I have to go make do an errand here. BS I got to go stuff. pay a bill here. Yes. You know, just so, yeah. so that stuff makes a difference. And then you 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 take that out of the equation. Then you bring this man into it, Chris, um, with the posing, like I said, and the detailed training, and um, just the, the the intensity and the focus on a day to day, hourly basis. Sky's the limit, you know, as far as the what, what you start to see change on a day to day basis. Well, yeah, and yeah. I have a photographic memory, and I see every part <laughs> of his body, and and everything needs to be a certain way, and yeah. But it's all fitting together so well. It's like it's, it's uh, I think that's where. Uh, that's where I think he's uh, stands above a lot of his competition. Yeah, yeah, the comp compatibility between the two of you guys is, is yeah. obvious, obviously. Um, Brian, how you were telling we saw Dexter a little bit earlier in the gym, and you were like, "This is, you know, this guy is like my not inspiration, but my goal." You you want to do this for the whole hall? You're still young. You're only 38 years old. You told me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You just signed with a new company, Yamamoto. Congratulations. Absolutely. Thank you, Yamamoto. Shout out to them. Yeah. yeah. Great. Uh, uh, all the way from. LA to Italy. That's right. They sound <laughs> Japanese, but they're Italian. <laughs> um, yeah. So, how much longer do you want to do this, man? It doesn't seem like you're showing any sign of slowing down. If anything, you're picking up steam. So, yeah. um, what's the uh, what's the next five year plan? How about that? Well, I'm gonna definitely take care of business this year and and get this uh, trilogy dynasty. Uh, you right. know, yeah. definitely take care of business and be focused. And I definitely want to. Uh, be in this game for a while I feel like w along with you know how we train and and how we're smart with yeah. it um, I, I feel like my longevity is is endless you know I have um, I have a lot of steam and I have enough years to really be strong and really improve still um, and then who knows after this year we'll we will see about what other challenges in other divisions we might want to go to oh uh, okay. well, well, you know, i'm gonna leave it there <laughs> chris you're telling me that the part of the reason why brian has been so successful is because you guys have not just worked you know temporarily on posing or on you know uh training but it's something that you've been doing now for the past three years now three years continuously now, yeah. and i think that's what it takes it's consistency yeah. day in day out and, and that's how you see so you that kind of give you the idea to not only uh because we know we have your training camps to call me training camp but to yeah. even maybe like start a school or something like that some sort of project where people can actually do it for the long haul yeah right I was, I was thinking to we want to do something in mexico uh next summer so uh i want to kind of work with the guys get them signed up early work with them throughout half the year or so leading up to the camp have someone like myself like myself and Brian at the camp or something like that getting some some great minds together uh, helping the guys go from not just going to a camp and learn something one day the, the basics day, whatever yeah do not just but the basics, kind of work yeah. with them getting ready for the camp and then do the camp yeah. and then almost almost have like a little competition within the camp itself to where it can who's going to be the best out of camp who's going to be the top dog out of camp and and have something special for them at the end of the camp. That's a good idea. Great idea. In, in Mexico, and uh, I think it's gonna be awesome. I think get some Americans, some some Mexicans, and hopefully people from around the world that want to come, just like we do in Kuwait. Yeah. Uh, you know, pick like a three week camp or something like that, and, and just. Uh, but ongoing. Get, yeah, ongoing. Yeah. Ongoing, and like I say, you're teaching them as you're getting ready for the camp. That's yes. That's gonna make a big difference when they get there. Get yeah, because otherwise, if you get people out of the camp for the first time, you have to go. For, right. You can't just. So Jump in the hot water. You have to teach him the basics. So yeah. yeah. So, so if you already know that, so yeah. Doing Skype sessions on the way, get leading yeah. to the camp, get them acclimated to what we're gonna do, and do some classroom work at the camp, oh, and okay. also in the gym, also some fun at the pool and all that stuff. You and really love teaching that stuff. Yeah, huh? I love teaching that stuff. <laughs> it's it's when, they, when they want to work, I love teaching. Hey, them. Right, 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 right. Like this guy right here. Put that in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This guy wants to work all the time, so. It's, yeah, well, it's, I, it's good. I, I stay hungry, you know, I stay hungry. I know that what we have here is a blessing. I know it doesn't come around uh, too often. And, and, you know, I know that the opportunity is just so great. And, you know, I think it's very important that you have to remain humble and you have to ha carry yourself in a certain way to, uh, 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 in humility um, because you, 
you know, if I'm going to be selfish, I know that I, I'm going to learn a lot more that way. I'm going to learn a lot more and I'm going to find out a lot more about myself and I'm going to find a lot more, discover a lot more about the, about this industry and about the things that I can do and opportunities that are going to open up for me and how I can extend myself uh, a lot better. I'm definitely not closed off and so um, I definitely want to, you know, I appreciate uh, all the fans and all the supporters out there and I want to definitely tell them to stay hungry, act like, you know, maybe you haven't won anything but you have won everything. Um, that's the only way that you're going to keep on moving forward and uh, keep progressing and, and, and truly be great because that's really going to uh, allow you to edify yourself and keep you motivated to keep uh, setting the bar for yourself, you know, yeah, and and never I, comfortable. And I've been doing this a long time since I was in early teens, my early teens I've been in the business, but my experience, I try to convey that to uh, to Breon because you know, on everything, Chris, yeah, not just Bible, but everything, business dude, everything. and sponsors, like, all yeah, that stuff. Like, yeah, don't do this, don't, yeah, that won't be good. Avoid whatever, the pitfalls. But, and yeah. he listens to a lot of a lot of things I say, and then uh, you know he has his own mind, but he also respects what I've done in my past, and I try to get him all the all the things that's going to help him re remain where he's at and stay hungry for what he wants to do and where, where he's trying to go. Yeah. Well, you're lucky to have him. Yeah, very, very <laughs> lucky. Very, very lucky. I'm very blessed. Yeah, very fortunate awesome. and you know Chris knows people all over the world man he got people pulling at his at his tugging at his <laughs> coattails from all over the world so I'm very blessed for him to t take the time and, and and for really from him to really uh, see value and what it. we're trying to build here um, chasing titles yeah. Yeah. Well, he's obviously, he's obviously yeah. proud of you goals, yeah. man. <laughs> you guys are a good team that, that's obvious so yeah I'm really I'm really impressed with him at where he's at right now like I said and uh, 12 weeks out to be at this condition right now it was like that's like wow that's like a it's like a five week look, you know? I know. Yeah, it's a there. long time, 12 weeks, when you look that way. Oh, yeah. It could but go really good. fast, too. It's all, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's all good. It's gonna, yeah. We're going to take our time and yep. make it happen. It's going to be one of the best physiques you've ever seen up there on the classic stage. All right. Yes. So, Chris, if people want to get a hold of you, what's the best way to reach you? Instagram, email, whatever? Yeah, through my Instagram. Um, and I'm, you know, also, my uh, I do uh, underscore Chris Cormier. Chris Cormier. Yes. At uh, On Instagram, also. The real deal Cormier at gmail.com. Catch up. Um, I'm having the, also my Chris Cormier Classic. You guys want to get ready for that? Oh, First oh, one you just yeah. had. How was that? Talk about that for awesome, a second. Dude. Everyone came to see Brian was there. Dexter yeah, was there. Brian, yeah. man, you, were, the, you were touched, you told me. Yeah, yeah. It, it, had a, it was such a big feeling for me to uh, help what? the athletes obtain this, this goal. <laughs> and everyone's happy. It was like, good to see everyone happy, man. I was all choked up behind the stage. You know, it was it was cool, man. Have all the, the guys guest polls and... They're out there giving so much to the to the crowd, to the audience, to the fans that was there. We all came to support yeah, you. Yeah, dude, it was, it was so awesome. Man. Oh uh, man, congrats! Yeah. And I had uh, you know uh, Kevin and Stacy to help me out with that. We get that the business together. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep it going each year, and uh, hopefully I make my way up there to Milwaukee uh, periodically during the year so I can help uh, awesome. help promote. Yeah, I'm going. Brian, anything? Anybody you want to thank? Anybody? Any sponsors? Any you know? Anything you want to say? Yes. Uh, first and foremost, I always thank Chris. Um, thank um, uh, Yamamoto, thank you guys for taking care of me and, and helping me perform uh, at my best and like a champion coming up here for the Olympia. Um, thank you to most definitely Florida Alternative Medicine. Uh, we want to thank uh, my, my, my partner Sam and with Team Breon. Uh, and thank all you guys, man. I much love to you guys, all the supporters and all the fans. You can reach me at uh, B R E O N M A underscore Rion M A underscore. Um, on my YouTube, yeah, on Instagram and my YouTube is Brian Ansley. I'm gonna have a, um, I'm gonna start a, a road to the Olympia. We're gonna call it Three On. <laughs> I like that. Uh, <laughs> nice. I like that. I, like I got it. my yeah. little YouTube channel coming too. Oh, I see <laughs> there. Yeah. Seek three teeth beat. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> everything Very is cool. three. Yeah. So we're, we're gonna so document class. everything and and. Uh, and we're gonna have fun with it. You can show real, show all the real. You know, show all the real deal. Yeah, that's right. So you know, yeah. it's time. It's time. Yeah, it's time. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for making the trip to the mecca today. Chris, I know you're leaving in a couple of days. I really appreciate you doing this. Well, you're all over man. the place, but you took time. And of course, you, you know buddy. the champ over here. And thank uh, you, you're a great really man. Appreciate you. Yeah, of yes. course. Thank yeah, you so much. Thank guys. you guys, all, all of you guys. All right, thank Jay. You. I'll see you, baby. Right. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> He's gonna be really happy. Man, yeah. Thank you for you know uh, being ambassador, being the ambassador 
for our yeah, Olympia. Yeah, man, Jake's yeah. doing good, man. I, all I, of us. I yeah. had to uh, come out here and, and make my presence felt. Thanks for having us on, Jake. Yeah. And, uh, keep doing what you're doing, man. You're doing beautiful work. Much uh, love, brother. I mean, I, I would say all bodybuilders uh, like myself coming up want to, you know, eventually do things like, like Jake. You know, as far as business, business wise, you know, as far as touching internationally wise, branding moving, wise. Man. I'm impressed with yeah, that. So, all over the place. Absolutely. Yeah. So he it's a pleasure to still. be down there with the Marines. He's down there with right. the, the yep. dog on. Right. Right. Vegas, right. Up there in Europe. I, I see <laughs> you moving and point. shaking, brother. I see you, big boy. I see you. <laughs> 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 no no gang sign, Chris. No <laughs> gang sign. <laughs> 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 right, yeah. Thanks so much for coming on the show, you guys. All right. You guys, Best of luck at 12 weeks. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, and we'll see you. See you real soon. Yeah, for some more. Olympia time. Uh, yeah, see for, you at the Olympics. for, for some all access. There you go. <laughs> yeah.